All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to discuss the top four investing apps for your use. We'll discuss who these investing apps are best for, what are the pros and cons of each of the apps. So number one will be Acorns investing app. Uh, who this is for? This is basically for these kind of people, new invest investors looking to leave the heavy pulling to a rover advisor. That means uh, heavy pulling means like not putting out so much of the your word your work your expertise to choose the kind of investment that you want there is a robo, robo advisor that is going to do it for you now this is based on the fractional like uh, the change that you receive the fractional leftovers from your shopping from your buying will be automatically invested uh, into the respective investments whatever it is required so basically your accounts investing app is just linked to you uh, linked to your actual savings account and you don't have to do the work manually Whenever you go and purchase, the changes are automatically invested. So again, uh, again, the second kind of user, regular debit card users who want to save, change automatically. Now, family is building well. Obviously, this is also one of the option prepping for future investing, like some of the people who might be interested into the future investment thing. Now, let's come on to the pros and cons of this particular app. Number one, it is inexpensive subscription cost at each tier. So at different levels, like this kind of investment investment the high level of investment the cost is not that high the cost is inexpensive and worth it number two start uh, smart intuitive automatic investing strategies that utilize your spare change without leaving you cash broke that means you don't have to take out the bunch of your cash bulk of your cash and then put it out leaving you a lot of burden it, will, it is automatically going to get your spare change over a period of time just imagine months after months we don't even consider this pay change. It is automatically going to invest it for yourself. So number three, retirement accounts like IRAs and the 401ks available for investment and management, which isn't the case for other normal robo advisors. Now heavy metal debit card, this is a kind of a card. Obviously good to have a feature, but doesn't make that big of a difference. Now what are the cons of a cons uh, investing app? No direct relationship with a financial advisor and uh, no socially responsible uh, investing portfolio like you cannot expect uh, like you have invested in a like professional finance uh, financial advisor personal is in is managing all your funds and stuff but everything else is pretty good now the second app is uh, robin hood investing app the this particular app by the way the links uh, the relevant links that you might be looking out for will be down there in the video description in order for you to help for any of these apps so that you don't have my difficulty in finding any of them. So the second one, Robinhood investing app. Uh, this is like, as, as you can see the def, by the definition, Robinhood is a broker for traders who, who want a simple, easy to understand layout without any complications, the, which other brokers happen to include. So it's very, very simple, simple trading. Who is it for? As you can see, beginner traders, mobile traders, right? So the beginner friendly traders, like you do not know much about the trade, trades, you don't want to deal with all those technical sort of a thing the technical terms you want to work as a layman so robin hood is the app for you now what are the pros and cons uh, pros streamlined easy to understand interface mobile app it also has with full capabilities as well as you can even buy and sell the cryptocurrencies at this platform what are the cons uh, almost no trading analysis tools available only taxable brokerage accounts available no option to open a retirement account in the robin hood no access to mutual funds forex or future trading so these are the pros and cons uh, that you can consider and then decide which one will be best for you the links are down below in the video description description now let's come on to the number three number three would be uh webull investing app this is the name of the app webull was basically founded in 2017 and it is a mobile app based broker that features commission free and ETF trading. It's regulated basically by Securities and Exchange Commission and the Financial Industry Regulated Regulatory Authority. Now, who this is for? The Webull Investing App. This is for the active traders, the intermediate traders, as well as the advanced traders. What are the pros? Commission fee trading in over 5,000 different stocks uh, and ETFs. So this is commission free. 
in over these many stocks and ETFs. Now, no account maintenance fees or software platform fees, no charges to open and maintain an, an account, leverage of four to one on the margin trades made, on, made the same day, leverage of two to one on the trades held overnight, but these are like a little over the board kind of a pros once you get deep into the things. Now, the fifth one would be intuitive trading platform with technical and fundamental analysis too. That means all the analysis tools will be out there for you to compare all the progress, what is happening out there within this investing world where your money is actually going with the insights. Again, the link down below. Now the cons does not support trading in mutual, bond, mutual funds, bonds or OTC stock. That would be the cons. Now the fourth, final, last but not the least, uh, public investing app now public app is a new social brokerage with a motto of like everyone's an investor that means anyone and everyone should be deserved to invest and they can do it with public investors app now instead of appealing to the sophisticated or high net worth clients public app wants everyone to get a piece of the pie with no minimum no commissions and fraction shares for purchases public allows anyone to invest in the companies they believe in regardless of how much capital that they have now who is it for again it will be for the new investors or stock and ETF investors and investors with limited capital you do not have big money to put in so definitely it is fair enough and everyone has the right to do that public app enables that now what are the pros fractional shares can also be availed over here and then easy to learn interface what are the cons no mutual funds uh, or derivatives like future or the option limited charting and research to obviously the i mean the complication is reduced by the charting and the research and it has only the mobile phone app to deal with so these four items accounts uh, robin hood Bebull, public investing so these four apps uh, i hope that you found the video helpful and comment down below for the app which you like the most and why uh, and any of the questions that you may have and if you got the value out of this video definitely give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel because i will be dealing with a lot of investment tips or a lot of like all the reviews your own personal finances how do you increase your income how do you save your taxes how do you go about buying the homes everything related with your personal household and personal finances that can be helped your accounts retirement accounts IRAs, and stuff so guys, again, thanks a lot for watching the video. Any of the links you may be looking out for, any of the apps you can find in the description. And again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.